abortion is wrong. And I, as the former Jane Roe of Roe versus Wade, do regret signing the affidavit for the pro-abortion camps. That was probably about it. It was all an act. Yeah, I did it well too. I am a good actress. Of course, I'm not acting now. What week of pregnancy should abortion access be cut off? We need to restore the protections of Roe versus Wade. Which we're was... not trying to do something new. Well, that There's, was nebulous because it was about viability, which could be anywhere between 20 to 24 weeks. And but it, it, so no, 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 no. Well, I think it was a mutual thing. You know, I took their money and they put me out in front of the cameras and told me what to say. And that's what I'd say. Wow. Did they use you as a trophy? Of course. Let, that's, let's, that let, was me, in let me be very clear. The Women's Health Protection Act that let the White me be, House also Let me endorsed. be very clear. From day one, the president has been clear. I have been clear. We need to put back the protections that are in Roe v. Wade into law. I was the big fish. Abortion is wrong. And I, as the former Jane Roe of Roe v. Wade, do regret signing the affidavit for the pro-abortion camps. And that was probably about it. It was all an act. Yeah. I did it well, too. Since the Supreme Court took it, Congress has the power and ability to pass legislation to put those protections back in law, and Joe Biden will sign that bill. So that is what we want. But does it need to be specific in terms of defining and where that guarantee goes up to and where it does not? Abortion is wrong. And I, as the former Jane Roe of Roe versus Wade, do regret signing the affidavit for the pro-abortion camps. That was probably about it. It was all an act. Yeah. I did it well, too. I am a good actress. Of course, I'm not acting now. Which week of pregnancy? We need to put back in place the protections of Roe versus Wade. You we know why not, I'm asking you this I, question, though. Because we're not trying to, but we're not trying to do anything that did not exist before June of last year. We well, are saying it wasn't but, crafted but, into law, and that's why I'm asking you for the specifics it, here, because Republicans say the lack of a precise date in cutting it off. You know this. Is they say that allows Democrats to perform abortions up until, you know, birth. We remember Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. <laughs> Abortion is wrong. And I, as the former Jane Roe of Roe versus Wade, do regret signing the affidavit for the pro-abortion camps. That was probably about it. It was all an act. Yeah. I did it well, too. I am a good actress. Of course, I'm not acting now. Which is ridiculous. Which is, which is not accurate. And, and it's ridiculous. And it's a that. mischaracterization so, of the point. No, the point but, is, but the do point you need is to be more precise. precise. I am being precise. Arma was never actually able to have the abortion and gave Shelley up for adoption. When you are able to really think about the idea that your mere conception brought about arguably the most controversial Supreme Court ruling in history, mm -hmm. what's the impact on you now? Well, now <laughs> I understand that it has nothing to do with me. It just happened to be me. Norma, who died in 2017, was a complicated firebrand in public, and her daughter says the same was true in private. How would you describe Norma? Very self-centered. It was all about her. 1969, Norma was 21 years old and living in Texas when she became pregnant with Shelly. She'd already given up two of her daughters for adoption. Wanting to terminate this pregnancy, she sought to challenge a state law that made abortion illegal. And against all odds, she won. Two years later, in 1995, she famously and very controversially changed her stance, joining the radical anti-abortion group Operation Rescue. Ms. McCorvey, uh, what happened? I became a Christian uh, Tuesday night. I was baptized. And um, now I've... Um, changed my position on choice. My whole thinking is everyone's going to blame me for abortion being legal. Have you felt like people want 
you to choose a side. Oh, definitely. Do you have an opinion about whether women should be allowed to have abortions? I do. It's an opinion that I keep pretty close to my chest just because I don't want either side or both sides coming at me. Having discovered the identity of her birth mother, 18-year-old Shelly eventually connects with Normal by phone. She basically was like, I just really wanted to make sure that you're okay. And then it came to the, so are you going to do the interview? And I was like, do what interview? And she was like, for the National Enquirer. And I was like, oh, so this isn't necessarily to find out if I'm okay. This is, you want to have like this big like reunion. Would you have been interested in meeting with her privately? I don't think so, just because I knew that she had three kids and that she had given us all away. Norma was quoted as saying at some point, I gave them all away so that they could have a chance at living. I believe that she gave the first two away for that. I don't think she wanted me at all. She was quoted as telling a reporter in 1981 that abandoning Shelley filled her with guilt. And then in 1985, she said, I would have much rather that I had an abortion. Where do you land with hearing just such a harsh comment? There you go, right there. She gave up the privilege of having any kind of relationship with me when she made those comments. We need to put into law the protections of Roe versus Wade. And abortion is wrong. And I, as the former Jane Roe of Roe versus Wade, do regret signing the affidavit for the pro-abortion camps. That was probably about it. It was all an act. Yeah. I did it well, too. Why was it important for you to make a statement on Roe v. Wade at Glastonbury? Um, yeah, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade the day before I was supposed to perform at Glastonbury, and I just think forcing women to give birth is really horrifying. Do you want to know what's really horrifying? Having women give birth to a poisoned or dismembered baby. And that's exactly what happens during an abortion, which also happened over 60 million times due to Roe v. Wade. But can we talk about how people who claim to be pro-choice always say people who are pro-life want forced birth? When in reality, they're the ones advocating for an act that forces a woman to give birth early. People who are pro-life advocate for natural birth. So who's really pro-force birth? Because it's not the people who say they're pro-life. When a woman is pregnant, she's pregnant with a child and will give birth to a human child. It's not like she's not going to give birth. It's just whether or not the birth is going to be forced and if the kid is going to be alive or dead. And if you support abortion, you're technically supporting the forced birth of a dead child. And that's what's really horrifying, not stopping a genocide. Those Republican leaders who are trying to weaponize the use of the law against women, what we say... How dare they? How dare they tell a woman what she can do and cannot do with her own body? How dare they? How dare they try to stop her from determining her own future? How dare they try to deny women their rights and their freedoms? Well, I think it was a mutual thing. You know, I took their money and they put me out in front of the cameras and tell me what to say, and that's what I'd say. Wow. Did they use you as a trophy? Of course. I was the big fish. Abortion is wrong. And I, as the former Jane Roe of Roe versus Wade, do regret signing the affidavit for the pro-abortion camps. That was probably about it. It was all an act. Yeah. I did it well, too.